Welcome to the Prep Athletics Podcast. This is Corey Heights. Some battles. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if they got us. If they did, maybe, maybe. So you will get better as a player during that year. So it was kind of exciting. Like, oh, yeah, somebody wants me. You know, and, and you know, but the next step, that's not necessarily the case because they have to win. You know, we don't have to win. Yeah, we like to win, but we don't have to win. You know, we're not going to get hired or fired or raised, you know, have a raise because of all wins. It just doesn't happen. And I think prep school coaches, certainly in New England, understand that. Mm -hmm. You know, they understand the whole thing is you, our job is to, you know, increase skill level. Our job is to increase academic potentials. And our job is really, really, really to prepare kids for the next level. And you know, you, you really see the one interesting thing about prep school kids is they don't transfer as much as, you know, they have some, but prep school kids can get comfortable where they go a little easier. You know, they're not the kid. Prep school kids as a collective group aren't the kids who's flying out of the other following year. You know, the guys who give their coaches a chance a little bit more because we as a collective group seem to have, you know, a better feel for these people and know where kids can play. Because certainly in our level, it's, you know, I know you spoke to Witten Jace. These are all people who have done this a while now. You know, and, 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 and uh, the reason you can stay where you're staying is, 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 is because you have a history of being successful with kids.